City's image. A major roadblock in a true physical transformation has been the number of empty or dilapidated buildings dotting the city streets. But what's the best way to deal with the structures? More now in a special assignment. Buildings are uh, they're part of the fabric of our history. A lot of historic buildings here, a lot of structure in there. A lot of them, unfortunately, have started to deteriorate because there's no upkeep on it. And those deteriorating buildings are a roadblock to revitalization, but the best way to deal with the problem is not so cut and dry. Fix the existing buildings or knock them down and start from scratch. Both have been done. Many of the parking lots downtown are in the footprint of old buildings, but city manager Jim Mavramatis says he generally prefers to keep what's there. I would go more to the revitalization part, but then again, you're going to have to look at all of these buildings Probably the best thing is to demolish it as far simpler and then build something new. Cost is a big factor in either option. Some owners just don't have the money to get buildings up to code. They deteriorate, and that's when the city steps in. Putting a lien against the property. Mm -hmm. So it, it just... It Which just, is a, a costly and long process. Absolutely, actually. absolutely. One success story yeah. Mavermatis points yeah. to is that of Mark Nelson. Nelson owns five buildings downtown and is putting businesses in each. His newest, the Steubenville Popcorn Company, resides in a building built in the 1870s. The bones of the building are, are strong, and a lot of times it's, it's really cheaper to invest in an older building and fix it up than it is actually to build a new one. Nelson says the key to restoring Steubenville lies in the refurbishing and rebuilding of the structures. In my opinion, everything needs to be done to either bring them back into, into use, bring the, you know, the building inventory back into use, or fill in between the buildings that are missing with new buildings that will enable new businesses to come in. The ultimate answer may lie somewhere in the middle. Take Wheeling, for example. A brand new building will house the health plan and hundreds of jobs. The promise of jobs allowed the city to take adjacent structures off the demolition list. Ultimately, the best course of action is determined on a case-by-case -case basis, but it's clear the future of Steubenville's downtown relies on the people who live in the city. It takes, you know, vision, does take money in some cases. With our pro close proximity to Pittsburgh, with the, uh, with the building of oil and gas going on, I think that it's, you know, it's a ripe time um, to, to reinvest in our community. If we don't, if we don't reinvest, no one's going to reinvest. Mavramata says he gets calls a couple of times a week from businesses looking to invest in downtown. Most, he says, are looking for move-in ready buildings, and those aren't easy to find. There are, however, programs in place to help building owners. They include tax abatements and a grant that can be used to fix the roof and facade.